According to Variety, after declaring bankruptcy, prominent movie theater chain Alamo Drafthouse is set to reopen 15 of their locations in May, which include spots in New York, Dallas, and Los Angeles. Now, Darius, how do you feel about this? Honestly, this is cool. I know there was a, I know there's an Alamo Draft House, uh, I believe in Brooklyn, and I've always wanted to go to it. But I think there was a certain age limit, mainly because it was like alcohol and that sort of thing. And I, I, I think Alamo, I think this is a good sign, really on all fronts. Not just for Alamo, of course, especially you know coming after, coming back after bankruptcy and everything. But I think where this, where the movie industry is going forward from here we already know amc has reopened some stuff if not everything is reopened for amc but still limited capacity with their seating so seeing another chain like alamo coming back as well who is relatively i guess smaller in a sense compared to amc uh it's still great to see i mean obviously mortal kombat godzilla versus kong shows yep. that and those uh viewerships shows people are going to the theaters and even with a limited capacity it is being capped almost all the time so it is great to see um alamo is following the footsteps and at least it's like you know what? let's give it a shot i mean exactly. black widow is yeah. about to come out soon so a bunch of other movies are about to come out soon so i guess theaters are trying to get in on this so i mean what, what were your thoughts when you heard about this as well well, I'm going to be honest here. It's kind of funny that you mentioned how you always wanted to go to the location in Brooklyn. And I'm going to be honest with you. I tried going to the location one time in Brooklyn. Now, for those of you who don't know, Alamo Draft House has a real uh, stickler policy of people not walking in late to the theater during the show. Which, I'm going to be honest, I do understand. Yeah. That being said... When you're at the butt end of that policy, it kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Because I'll never forget. I don't even remember what we were going to see a couple years ago. I was going with my then girlfriend at the time. I'm not going to blame us. Uh, because, like, you know, of course, we would never be late, right? You know, it's not our fault. I'm going to blame the R train. Because we were taking it from St. John's in Queens. <laughs> we, take, we had to take the bus to connect to the subway. And the R train, of course, was just taking its sweet time for whatever reason. We got there, and we weren't allowed to go in. They gave us our money back, but that doesn't change the fact that I was mad. And that doesn't change the fact that when I first found out that they were filing for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. How could this possibly happen to Alamo Draft House? So, I mean, yeah, listen, it, it is, it's definitely a good sign. Like, all kidding aside, it's definitely a great sign that another movie theater chain is opening up again because they have to anticipate... All these other like big blockbuster, potential blockbuster films like Black Widow, like you mentioned, like In the Heights, I think that's going to be a huge hit. But at the same time, I'm sticking with AMC. So Alamo Draft yeah. House, a little lukewarm <laughs> on you. Not going to lie. I mean, like, but good for you, I guess. I, <laughs> like, I love AMC. Obviously, AMC has been around for years, and I've always gone to AMC theater. That's always been the staple of my movie going experience. Of course, Regal and Multiplex Cinemas have been around, but AMC has always been the staple. But knowing Alamo Draft House and especially hearing things that I think I think my dad went to or some other family member I have went to it and they really liked it. And they even told me, yeah, there's like an age restriction, that sort of thing. I was like, man, I kind of want to go just to see the experience. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some good, decent things, especially the one in Brooklyn. Uh, so I, I am curious. Again, this is exciting that they're coming back. It's exciting for movies in general. Uh, so it's just a matter of just seeing where it goes. Is this going to be a temporary one within only a few months? Or is it actually going to be like into the next 2022 as well? Considering 2022 is yet again another dumping ground for a bunch of films. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And again, I'm assuming those good things you heard about Alamo Draft House are only from people who are actually allowed to go into the theater because they were on time. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, again, like I said, like all kidding aside, it, it is a good thing. But at the same time, like Alamo had draft house and screw you, but <laughs> screw you, but I'm happy for you exactly. at the same time. So uh, now I'm curious as far as to what you guys are thinking. Are you guys pumped for Alamo draft house's return from the dead? Did you ever get denied an entrance for one of their shows because you were late? Leave your thoughts in that comment section there below. Yes, laugh at my pain, Darius. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> now, I before we get... Yeah, uh, as, as per usual, right? Why would today be any different? 